Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Conclave as Scotland. In our last episode, we successfully took the County of Ulster from the Duke of Moray and gave it back to Ulster where it's supposed to be. So I think this means that we have all of our vassals correctly confined, confined to their exact du jour duchies, which is always a nice position to be in, if you care about that kind of thing, which not everybody does. Uh, there is this revolt that's been going on over here in Connacht for a long time. Which, um, let's see, what is this? Findlay's claim on Connacht. It seems to be in some kind of a stalemate since the rebels don't have enough troops to siege and the incumbent can't raise any other troops. Uh, who's Findlay? Oh, it's our Duke of Galloway. Well, hopefully the revolt loses that. Because I don't want Findlay over here gaining a duchy over in Ireland, that would be messy. He's 68 years old and pretty stressed, and probably not likely to live too long, though, so hopefully that doesn't succeed. Anyway, we declared a holy war down here in Iberia for the last county in the Duchy of Portugal, which we did not get the last time that we attacked down here, so we should be able to win this pretty easily. We have Sicily and the HRE on our side. So let's unpause and continue. We didn't manage to catch this army down here, so I think we'll just try again. We're still not going to catch them. We'll probably prevent them going there and then maybe catch them. Yes, okay. Put in some commanders who aren't us. And looks like Sicily's heading over here to siege for us, perhaps. Uh, where's the revolt capital? It's here. Um, we could assault this right now, that could be worth doing. And I think we will. Hopefully we don't take a lot of attrition here. Hmm. Well, as long as we don't take a tick of attrition before we start assaulting, I think we'll be okay. I think we got away with it. Didn't catch any high-value prisoners, though, it looks like. That's fine, we'll head up to our target canty here. Oh. Well, I guess the revolt ended, and so did our war. That's unfortunate. In that case, I guess we'll just head home and redeclare a war on the Adavids. The jihad for Anatolia has failed. Okay. So the Byzantines will continue to be strong over there. Alright, so we could just declare the same war again, or we could go for this larger duchy. Leaving this one for later. Which I think is probably a good idea. This is the whole duchy, right? Four counties. Yeah, I think we'll take this. The council just about improves. The glory hands are not in favor. Apparently the enemy is too weak. But unfortunately they're outvoted, or fortunately for us. Um, alternatively, I guess we could... No, we still have our truce with England for over a year, so I think we'll put that off. Though I do want to attack England again pretty much as soon as possible. Let's see, they have alliances with Norway and the Pope. Okay. The anti-papal war. Um, no, I think we'll go ahead and declare war down here. We should be okay attacking England as soon as we're finished with this. Assuming the council will improve. I think the glory hands will go for it because the uh, enemy will be a lot stronger. 
So we shouldn't have trouble declaring that. Alright, so he has allies on his side, but if I had to guess, I suspect they're not as strong as our allies, so I think we'll have the advantage there. And we'll just disband some of the more inconvenient troops. These guys can stay, though. Is this enough boats? Maybe. That should be plenty. Young Farah has finished her education in the ways of war. Okay, very good. Guess we'll see if we can ransom her. We can't. Guess we'll just release her then. The Adavis themselves have 6k, so I'm a little concerned about our retinue hanging out here. Though I only see 1300 down here. Another couple of thousands in this area. Added to here, okay. We'll be okay till the rest of our troops get there. Guess I didn't even need those extra boats. Gain some technology from Constantinople. Always good. Our Duke of Munster has died. Terminal stage leprosy. Wow. Okay. He's no longer our steward, we need to appoint somebody else who is now in charge of Munster. Five-year-old Duke Haldor. Okay, well he won't be causing us any trouble. And we also won't be appointing him to the council, of course. Let's see, the Duke of Kent wants on the council, but he'd be a terrible steward. He'd be a uh, step down as chancellor as well. He's happy enough though, so I think we can just appoint somebody who'd be good at the job. such as Sharira here. Or else we appoint the Duke of Galicia, who is worse, but is a Duke. Hmm. Alright, we'll appoint the Duke. Have him stop leading armies. Uh, he is a very good commander, actually, maybe. He'd be better used uh, leading armies, but for now we'll just have him collect taxes into the capital. Speaking of taxes, we do have a lot of money at the moment, so we could probably do some upgrades. We're still uh, tech limited on Castle Town upgrades. I think we'll just uh, get levy improvements then. Yeah, we're, we're pretty far behind on some of these more newly built holdings, so we'll just get some of the levy improving ones that are pretty cheap, I think. And nothing too cheap to do there. Oh, we can do the castle town here, so we'll do that. And we'll do a barracks there. Here we can also get the castle town. And I guess we'll get the Shiltron Training Ground here. Alright. So Sicily looks like is on the way down. With a few thousand troops at least. 
young Amira has finished her education in diplomacy and has become a grey eminence. Alright, can we ransom her? Yes. Ten gold. Alright, so... Looks like we're not going to be able to siege his capital here. Or at least not able to assault it, we would be able to siege it. So, maybe we won't bother and instead we'll just split in two and start sieging a couple of counties in our target duchy here. Just make sure we stay under the supply limits, which are a bit tight in this area in some places, it looks like. Actually, with these counties, we'd be fine, but uh, yeah, down here we're at 12 and 16, which we would actually just be under. This guy is in as an ally, apparently. The other ally is Mansa Sakura the Old of Mali. So, he seems to be having a revolt right now, so he probably won't be coming to help. And I don't think we need to be concerned about this 1500. Okay, so the Ida Vid army's arrived, so that's up to 6,000. These counties are plains, forests and plains, so we're not going to get good defensive terrain. We have the numbers to win a battle here, though, so I'm not too concerned. And our Duke of Portugal has died. A natural death, okay. So we need to appoint somebody else as Marshal. Um, I guess our Duke of Galicia would be better as Marshal, so we'll... move him to... Marshal. And then we'll appoint somebody else's steward, I suppose. Perhaps Sharira here. Yeah, he can do the job for a while, and then we can rearrange things once our Duke of Munster comes of age, since I assume he'll consider himself a powerful vassal once that happens. And the Duke of Moray can be a commander. So we're actually his heir. We could end up inheriting the duchy back. Looks like Castile has gone to war with the Adavids, though the Adavids are only in as an ally, they're trying to take this county. It looks like they're headed off in that direction, that's fine by me. We'll just continue to siege. Our son has contracted smallpox, oh dear. That is bad news. Prince Drogo, the Knights Templar, is happier with us, so that's good. Uh, it's hard to find the time, but whenever I can, I try to, try, try to spend some time with my son, John, who is, I think, our rival. He must be made to see how important family is and to honor and love his parents, so... I'm assuming this won't stop him being our rival, but at least he feels a bit better about it. Somebody else, I assume, in our court has contracted smallpox. Uh, Alright, we need to actually have our Marshal and Steward do things, since we reappointed them. Hopefully they don't contract smallpox in the capital here. Or, more importantly, I hope we don't contract smallpox.
possibly we'd be safer in uh, in charge of one of these sieges. Uh, our kinsman Duncan has contracted smallpox. Okay, maybe we will just go ahead and point ourselves down here, where there's no smallpox. Only angry men with swords trying to kill us. Which sounds much safer. So we can invest in economy tech. So we can keep pushing castle infrastructure for the castle 10, which is probably what we're going to do. Um, we are pretty far ahead here, so probably after this we'll catch up on some of the lower ones at the next opportunity. Uh, let's get a level of legalism as well, I suppose, while we're here. Barracks is finished. Your court chaplain, Bishop Ninian of Dunblane, has been discovered charging money for various religious favours, putting the gold in his own pockets. Bishop Ninian, how dare you. Uh, we can say it's intolerable, he loses 50 prestige and piety. And we're annoyed because he abused his office and he is fired as court chaplain. We can say it's disappointing but understandable and annoy our temple vassals. I think we'll just fire him. We can probably appoint somebody else almost as good. Like Bishop Edwin of St. Andrews. And I think we still have the heretic county up here. Oh, we don't. Okay, it's been converted. We do have a Waldensian county down here, though. Our Duke of East Anglia is happier, okay. And our son had a son of his own called Malcolm, okay. Uh, let's see. He will have a weak claim on the Byzantine Empire once his mother dies. Which is definitely something we should take note of. And the uh, Grandmaster of the Knights Templar again is happier. Uh, I've been corresponding regularly with my sister Rose and always make sure to see her whenever I get the chance. It's a harsh world and family must stick together. Okay. They would another siege there up to 18%. I guess we'll go and fight the army here instead of continuing our siege for the moment. So we're no longer leading this army, that's okay. I don't really want to be in the battle. Maybe we'll appoint ourselves in this one for now instead. Oh, we've actually missed. Oh, we're not going to catch them there as it is. About now. Looks like it. I'm not sure who this is leading the army. I think we might end up not getting any war score for this. I think it might be Beha. Which would be his vassal. And our Duke of Galicia has died. Natural death, so we need a new marshal again. Uh, our new Duke of Galicia is in fact a duchess. Okay, so we can't appoint her as marshal. I guess we'll just appoint the best person for the job. Assuming we don't want to appoint the Duke of Kent, which we don't. Uh, 
and we'll appoint the Duke of Connacht as a commander. Okay, so let's finish this battle. As expected, no war score. Which is unfortunate, but uh, I guess not a big deal. We'll just win from sieges, probably. So, three lower holdings to take here, four in here. Then we'll move on to our other two counties, probably, but we are just about out of time for this episode, so we'll leave it here for now. Thanks for watching, and join me again next time.